Since 2004, MHRP has provided prevention, care, and treatment services funded through the President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, or PEPFAR. More than 200,000 people receive care and treatment through local facilities supported by MHRP. To evaluate the impact the program is having and better inform HIV care and treatment services, MHRP has begun a large HIV cohort study in Sub-Saharan Africa. The African Cohort Study, or AFRICOS, is a long-term prospective observational cohort study enrolling at HIV care and treatment clinics that are supported by MHRP's Global Health Program in four African countries. Those countries include Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, and Nigeria. And in those clinics, we'll be enrolling 3,000 HIV-infected individuals and 600 HIV-uninfected individuals. Many of the best-known and longest-running HIV-focused cohort studies have been conducted in the Western setting. What we don't know is whether or not all of the helpful things that we've learned through these cohorts can be appropriately applied to the African context. There are many differences. For instance, circulating subtypes of HIV are different. Uh, Co-infections, other comorbidities are different. Educational and socioeconomic conditions are different as well. So I think we'll learn a lot in this study about the accurate conclusions that we can draw from cohort results uh, as they are applied to the treatment of our patients in African settings. What we will learn is absolutely tremendous. We can look at various interventions and in clinical services new diagnostics, treatment regimens, and determine how they affect patients over time. One of the strengths of this protocol is that we'll be actively screening participants for ongoing co-infections and comorbidities, regardless of the symptoms they have when they present for a study visit. For instance, up to a third of individuals with active pulmonary TB who are co-infected with HIV may not present with typical clinical signs and symptoms of TB, and they may fail a symptomatic screen. However, for all of our participants, on at least an annual basis, we will be collecting sputum samples to evaluate for pulmonary TB that's active. Because this is a cohort study, we can also determine the incidence of HIV complications like atherosclerosis. We know that these cardiovascular complications are serious problems. We don't know to the extent that they occur in an African context. For many of our patients in the U.S., like the patients I see in clinic here, it is the longer-term non-infectious comorbidities that really contribute to morbidity and mortality. So disease processes like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, cardiovascular disease, cognitive decline, these are all things that we have seen to be um, sometimes accelerated in Western populations of individuals who are infected with HIV. We don't know what this will look like in the African setting as people are increasingly treated there. As an African medical practitioner, I am really looking forward to this study and the, the results of this study because I think it will have a, a direct impact both on clinical practice in Africa but also on the HIV pandemic generally because it's going to improve the policy environment, it's going to provide information that will enable national governments and the global community to revise perhaps their policies and standards, but also it will enable the global community to develop interventions that will perhaps transform a, you know, the impact of this pandemic in Africa. The study is approved for 15 years, and in my mind, that's just a start. 
many of the best known HIV cohort studies have been enrolling for over 20 years, and it really is the ascertainment of these long-term outcomes which help us understand what contributes to the long-term survival of our patients.